Hi everyone! How are y'all today? I hope everyone's doing well. Um, I wanted to make this quick video about Thanksgiving. It is finally almost here. I'm so excited. I love Thanksgiving so much. Um, it's probably my favorite holiday. Like I hate to say that. Like I don't want to be rude to Christmas, but um, it is what it is and I really love Thanksgiving. So, but you guys know me. I'm kind of a foodie. So, um, Thanksgiving for me like totally starts with Wednesday night. So, it's just like a full on event. Like it's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Usually I try and get my life together by Saturday, but you just never know. There's always like lots of events and also I'm a turkey baby. So my birthday is always like around Thanksgiving. So my birthday is like two days before Thanksgiving this year. And sometimes it's on Thanksgiving, which is really fun. Um, so anyway, um, I just wanted to make this quick video about Thanksgiving to give you guys some tips of like what to do, how to go about Thanksgiving. Um, I'm just enjoying coffee right now and it's really cold well it's not that cold outside I'm in Texas as you guys all probably know um definitely got allergies right now and um I'm just freezing so I'm just gonna hold my coffee while I make this video anyway that was unnecessary information so back to talking about Thanksgiving okay so Thanksgiving um like I was saying everyone kind of has different traditions with it and so that's going to change up what you do with your nutrition for like a whole week and so um let me just tell you a quick story about what's happened in my experience working as a nutritionist in the like weight management and just like health area of uh nutrition which is like all area of nutrition but I usually I I mainly focus on weight loss and that's what I usually do and or strength training or obviously I work with a lot of gastroenterology as well um, but most of my patients are weight loss so uh, when it comes to weight loss we are all like trying to focus and stay consistent with the plan uh, the food the water the physical activity the trying to get sleep which I am so feeling at this week I'm just doing terrible with my sleep but either way um, that's besides the point. Um, whenever it comes to next week, I just want you guys to think about what you are trying to accomplish. And what you're trying to accomplish is sustainability with your nutrition plan. So you're not just trying to lose weight. You're trying to learn about nutrition. You're trying to practice nutrition. You are literally trying to make a lifestyle change, a life change. And guess what? Thanksgiving Christmas, all of that is part of life. And so what is my recommendation that you do during the holidays? My recommendation is that you take it completely off and you just don't even think about it for a little bit. And I know that sounds crazy and I know it sounds like, what? I'm supposed to be strong and like power through this. Um, as you guys probably know me, like I'm like, no, that's just crazy. You need to learn how to come back from deviations be off the plan and go right back into the plan. So um, I recommend taking an entire week off for Thanksgiving. You don't have to, but I wanna like, as your nutritionist, I wanna say, hey, you have seven days off of the plan, like as your nutritionist and coach, you're you're given seven days you do what you want with those days I don't care what the heck you eat those days your goal is just to stay within your five pound maintenance range window which is your lowest weight plus five pounds um, if you eat completely off of the plan for seven days it does not matter as long as you're staying within that range you're totally good um, it's not going to be a weight loss week, you guys. It's a maintenance week. And so I recommend taking seven days off just because, um, hold on, I have this heating pad and now it's just getting really warm in here because I like overdid it when I was make, when I was getting ready. Okay, anyway. So, um, so basically what I'm trying to say here is that, you know, I, so when I started working as a nutritionist, I worked in an obesity medicine clinic and so all of it was weight loss and, um, it was such an awesome experience, you guys. It really was. Um, but I didn't know what the heck I was doing. I mean, of course I had like education on my side, but you know, to help people with lifestyle change, behavioral modification, all of that was very new to me. And so, um, whenever I had my patients, 
invitations come in, they would be like, Jewel, it's Thanksgiving. I'm going to take, you know, I'm going to maybe have some mashed potatoes and like that's all I'm going to have. Um, I'm going to skip dessert. I'm not going to do any of that. No alcohol for me. And um, I was just like, okay, like let's do this. That sounds awesome. Um, but then the next week my patients came in and they all like didn't stick to that plan and they felt like this awful sense of guilt and so I you know since that experience I just thought you know what they ended up doing worse just because they kind of spiraled they were like oh man I said I was going to do this and now I didn't do it so let me just full on do nothing you know like that all or nothing mentality and so um so what i decided was when i you know was in charge of how to do the nutrition practice which has been kind of the case ever since um i've been recommending taking the entire week off or like seven days like i don't care what seven days those are but like take seven days off um in those seven days you do what you want if you decide like i want to focus for like you know three of the seven days or like really focus in to get my weight back down to that five pound window range. That's totally cool. Um, I want you to do what you want, but I just like want to almost like give you permission. Like you don't need permission from me, but I do a lot of coaching with you guys and I want you to feel like it's okay. Like it's okay if I have seven days off of a plan. It's okay if I had pecan pie for breakfast. Like that's fine. Like it is what it is. Jewel said I could do it. And so so anyway, I just wanted to make this quick video about what to do. So for me, um, I swear I'm already getting into like the holiday mode because I've been like having a weird sleep schedule and I'm like, whatever, like it's basically holidays now. Now I'm not doing poorly with nutrition, but still I, my sleep game is totally off. Um, so um, what I want you to do is pick the seven days like trying to focus over here, pick the seven days that you want to, you want to take off or like make just like more of your lax days. So for me, um, I always, I like to get back on track on a Monday. So, uh, that's just how my brain works probably because I've tried to lose weight so many times in my life. <laughs> I know you guys feel that. So, um, so Monday, I want you guys to, um, or no, you don't have to do that. I'm like, okay. So Monday, I'm going to start taking my time off. Like I'm going to probably start prepping some cookie dough, which is not Christmas, but I just like want some Momo cookies. Um, I'm just going to start getting into the holiday spirit a little bit more or maybe even Sunday. I don't know. I got to figure that out. But I'm going to take my seven days. I want you guys to organize what seven days you're going to do. Um, Wednesday for sure is like a very special day for me and my family. I'm so excited about it because we're going to do um, lots of uh, baking and it's like so fun so anyway so I want you to take your seven days um, your goal by the end of the seven days is to be within your five pound maintenance range so let's just get let me give you an example if you start taking the days off on Sunday this upcoming Sunday and you're just like all over the place and you're eating so much and you like get on the scale and you're like holy crap I'm seven pounds up which happens, you guys. Do y'all remember whenever I, I like went to Boston? I like came back and I like was seven. I think it was seven pounds. I like weighed a lot more because uh, I ate so much stuff and it was worth it. Um, but anyway, you may see that your weight goes up like way more. And you're going to be like, oh my God, I'm so scared. Like I've gone over the five pound range. Well, your goal is by the end of the seven days to be back at that set, that five pound window. Then the next week, what are you gonna do? Of course, you're gonna do a palette reset. You're gonna do a palette reset that week. And um, in the palette reset challenge group that I run, if you're not a part of it, go find it on Facebook because it's awesome. It's really cute. It's an amazing little beautiful community and um, and we just like support each other and help get each other back on track. We're going to be doing a palette reset together that week um, after Thanksgiving and so um, so join us for that and then uh, but if you don't feel like joining us that's cool. You can just like do it at home and like just get it done. Do pellet reset. You're going to do so great and you'll get your weight back down to your lower weight, that the lowest it's been yet. And so um, that's always the goal.
So anyway, you guys, this is my little, um, I don't know, word vomit about what to do about Thanksgiving. I hope this video was helpful for you. Um, and I'm going to post some pictures of like what I'm making today at TDDC, the GI clinic I work with. We are having our work Thanksgiving and I'm so excited about it. It's going to be awesome. Um, I'm not really taking my days off yet, so I'm still going to be on plan um, I'm bringing a salad which is like one of my favorite things to do is like whenever I'm like in a group setting of we're having a potluck type situation I always bring something that I know I can eat a lot of so that if I'm eating it or like I'm getting a plate of food I'll just put basically everything on the plate but like a lot of what I brought and I'm just like yeah like having conversation and talking to everyone and like enjoying the time but I'm like having like maybe like one bite of something that's not really on plan and I'm like eating a ton of the thing that I got and it looks like I'm just eating like with everyone and I'm not being like that weirdo on a diet or the nutritionist that nobody wants to eat with. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, that's how I usually do um, like the potluck, you know, group Thanksgiving, group Christmas, all that. Um, so if you get this video before yours happens, definitely try and bring something helpful that's still on plan so that you can enjoy, you know, the potluck situation um, without feeling like, man, I'm really overdoing it and it's not even Thanksgiving yet. Not even even Thanksgiving week. So anyway, I hope you guys found this video helpful. I'm so happy it's finally like really Thanksgiving season. It's going to be awesome. Go Cowboys. And I hope you guys enjoy your day. Um, I usually do a turkey trot and I sign up like last minute. I don't know where I'm doing the turkey trot this year, but hopefully I get it done. Um, we'll see. If I don't, I... I don't know. I, I need to do it. But if I don't, I will um, definitely run for sure. I'll do some physical activity. So if you don't want to gain too much weight during Thanksgiving week with your seven days off that I'm giving you, definitely amp up that physical activity. Like just amp it up. Get a lot of cardio in. I mean, obviously do strength training too, but like get a lot of cardio in and that will really help your body, all of your organs and all of your muscles and all of the, all the cells, all the things. It's going to help, um, just use that glucose, any of the carbohydrates that you're eating. So anyway, you guys, I wish I could give you all a hug and say happy Thanksgiving to you. Um, but I, I will just give you a virtual hug. So virtual hug. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye.